Hello, guys and gals. Me and Betty, or Betty and I, are at the new Druidic, I guess I'm saying that right, Sanctum Hideout. <gasps> Here we go. Whoa. It's pretty neat. Uh, if you noticed with my other video, if you've seen it, the uh, industrial cave, not industrial cave, high tech cave. There we, there we go. Uh, each hideout is the same layout. I mean, if you look, hideouts. Like the caves, same layout, but just different themes. Basement, we'll soon have that, and Sanctum like this. Mystic, and the Druidic. Same kind of deal, I mean, same theme. I mean, ah, oh my goodness, I'm messing up my words. <gasps> ah, different themes, same layout, there we go. But because of that, you can interchange the pieces. So this is the Druid Sanctum. You can see it's more nature -y. Got vines and a bunch of leaves and stuff on it. Got this huge glowing thingamabob. I don't know what that is, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. Got your nice little stone seating. Guessing that stone. Ooh. Got your books, got your fruit. Got your, ooh, that, that's cool. Shiny crystal ball. I've noticed in this little crystal ball the reflection is of the uh, of the uh, what's it called? Uh, I give names, I'm forgetting everything. Mystic sanctum. There we go. Reflection is of the mystic sanctum, but we're inside the druidic sanctum, so not a big deal. It really isn't, but it is a little mistake. Here we go. This is your crime computer. I guess. I don't see any computer here, but I guess these little stones mean something. Ambient noises are kind of spooky a bit. I think Betty's getting a little spooked out, but it's fine. Pretty roomy. Here we go. Ooh. Got your mushrooms. Got your little leaves and what is this? It's the tailor? Ooh, that's pretty. Let's get a closer look. So, I don't really know what that is. I know it's a tailor, but I don't really know what that is. But, you so you can just make something up. That's cool. Alright, well, guess we can go back up and start looking at the options they have for us. Here we go. Where is the options? Alright. I guess I should go back to the top. Oop. Oop. Do, 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 do. Damage effects. Wisps. I'm guessing those are little dealy bobs. Let's see. Flying books. Okay, wisps. Okay. It's got these little dealy bobs here. Back wall. Okay. Library. Rock. <laughs> Interesting. Carpet. So this one only comes with two different kinds. Olive. But Betty likes blue. She she likes that. Kind of matches her hair. Kinda. Okay. Crime computer. Have your altar. Here we go. Just from the mystic. Or you can use druidic. Oh, I forgot to explain this. I think I did. I don't know. I explained it in the other video. Uh, anything you have from your previous pre pre previous hideout, like uh, like the sanctums, you can interchange. Oh, I'm sure you already know this by now, since that's what I've been doing. But you can mix and match the different pieces together. Now, it only works with the same type of hideout. Like, if you have a basement, you can't put, like, a cave item in your basement. That doesn't work. But, like, for the sanctums, you can, like, uh... Like, what I've been doing, you can have this stone altar. You can have a, a mystic one. Um, obviously, the more types of 
sanctums you buy, the more options you get for your sanctum. That's pretty exciting, yeah. So what is this floor? Is that this? I think it's this grass marble. These are the mystic ones. Well, it's the druid one. doesn't have as many options as the mystic one so far. The mystic has like at least two. Druid only has one. Fireplace. Statue. Glow ball tree with fog. Okay. That's, making, that's what's making all the noise. Left wall. Look, here we go. Make Betty hurry up and get to the wall. No! No, 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 no! Okay. Alright. Let's see. Left wall. Guess it's this one. There we go. Lower floor, front. Is this lower floor? What's lower floor? Um, hang on. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. what Betty's exactly making on this table. It's like a scroll and some... Right, uh, grape soda? No, it's not soda at all, it's something else. I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Here we go, platform detail. Let's get to working. Oh, oh there's wood and... Oh, there's wood, I thought it was stone. I'm <laughs> way off. Stone benches... Daily Bobs, it's pretty cool. All right, right wall, library, a rock, social area. Here we go. Wooden tables, Mrs. Laney. The sitting room. Now, these lamps do fall down. Just to let you know, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just anything fall down here? Does anything come off the table? Okay, I guess not. Stair detail, here we go. Got your vases, vases, uh, plants. Taylor, that's where we was at. I didn't know what that was. Pond, we're gonna have this mirror. <gasps> Ooh. There we go. Alright. Under stairs. Roots and mushrooms. Floating statues. Sitting here. It knows with this druid sanctum. I forgot to look at the uh, the tech cave on how many options it had. But the druid sanctum seems like it has very few changeable options. Like it only has like one. If it's been no like we noticed, the mystic has like at least two or three. You know that. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Same amount. It's two, two. This one has a lot more carpets. This one has a, a lot more floors than the Druid one. Has more focal points. The walls don't really count. I think that's the same. Same. Okay, I guess it's mainly about even. Okay, never mind. But there's a few things that have a few more options than the it. But it looks pretty cool, I guess. I think so. It looks kind of funny being all stone when it has wood around it. Like it's not really a cave. I guess it's not supposed to be a cave. 
don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, ne ne never mind. But there we go. This was the hideout. Now it's phase two. Only came out with two hideouts. So uh, phase three. I forget what it's gonna be. Um, I don't think the C store tells you. If you look on the uh, Champions Online website, you go to the hideout section, which should have a, a list or something. It gives you what hideouts come out when. Uh, as far as this month goes, no other hideouts will be released. Probably be next month, I guess. Be Phase 3, which I'm not sure what that will include. I've read, but I forgot. I don't remember. I know that the Vigilante basement comes out on Phase 5. There's a lot of phases, by the way. I don't really know. I'm just running around in circles. I'm sorry. That's it. Thanks for watching.